Instead of all of these wires uh, bundled up and <laughs> going crazy all over the place, let's get rid of the uh, those little uh, breadboard completely and replace it with something like this. This is just a simple little proto board. I put a few um, wires on there, installed a female header so that the uh, the LCD display can plug in there, and I've created um, some pins along here so I can make a, ta a cable that goes over to the Arduino and just completely do away with all of this uh, uh, nonsense completely. Let me show you how we do that. Let's talk about the components that we're going to need for this project. First of all, we're going to need some jumper wires. I like these wires that have female connectors on both ends. These are pin connectors. I've got uh, male pin connectors, female pin connectors, and this is a special uh, set of pin connectors. It's a, a dual line set of connectors, and uh, I'm going to use it in a very unique way, which I'll show you, to uh, create a connector I don't have. We're also going to use one of these little proto boards. It's just a little PC board with lots and lots of holes in it that allow you to um, install components and wire them together. And to tidy things up, I'm going to use some of these uh, little tiny zip ties. Let's talk about building a cable that's going to plug in to our LCD display at one end and the Arduino at the other. To start the project, I um, will take the female um, jumper cables and just plug them in to the pins here in the order that you want them to be um, for your project. I needed a total of uh, uh, six of these pins, so um, I just put them all in there like that. Once all of the pins are set on some posts, you just need something to work on them, I took tape and I wrapped tape around them that tape you'll see here I put a little label on it so I could keep track of which end was ground and uh, there's I formed a whole connector once you make this tape tight uh, it will hold all those individual um, female connectors uh, pretty securely together this isn't something that we unplug and plug in uh, over and over again a lot so that, that doesn't matter but it's it's ready it's uh, ready to go into our project the other end, I had to split the plus and um, the plus uh, five volts and the ground away from these. They're going to go to different places on the Arduino board. But if you look at those pins, you'll notice that those are male connectors, and we started with a jumper wire that was female at both ends. So how did I do that? <laughs> it was easy. I took one of these breakout male connector strips and using a pair of pliers I simply pull the pin out of the strip and put it into the female connector. It makes a, a to-do, um, it works I should say I guess, it does what I need it to do. This then I've uh, put a tape on there to label it so I'm sure uh, keep track of which end is pin 2 and which end is uh, pin 7 and then that just plugs just like this right into the Arduino and uh, has worked just fine. Here you see the completed cable cinched up with uh, zip ties to keep everything tight. Let's look at how this comes together. You can see on my little proto board here that I've installed a female header here. That female header came out of a much longer one that I had got. Um, I get all these parts on eBay. They're very inexpensive. They come from China and they'll show up at your door at about 10 days after you order them. This is way longer than what I need. And unlike the male headers that could just break apart, these don't just break apart. Um, they do make some that do though, but I don't have them. So I took a Dremel tool and simply cut through the section to create um, a header that had the number of holes in it that I needed for my LCD display and I soldered it to the board as you see here. I've also got these male headers on the board. Um, these over here are going to go to the Arduino and over here I've added uh, two more pins 
that will go um, give me five volts in ground to go to my um, to my tone board. You can see those coming out here. I did a little interesting thing here though I want to show you. Let me unplug that. On my board right here you'll see a little tiny red wire that goes nowhere. And over here next to it a tiny black wire. It goes nowhere also. They're simply there so that I can remember which way to put my plug on those pins. Notice that these pins come off at a 90 degree angle. I felt that was important because I didn't want to keep stacking wires and have them spring straight off the back. Things lay down and behave much much better if you can pull them off to the side. Um, I didn't have any um, 90 degree uh, header pins though so um, it occurred to me that I could make them. It turns out that because of another project that I was working on I uh, ended up with a collection of double um, header pins here. These have to be set up for surface mount and it was to repair uh, a damaged board where I needed to replace uh, the header. Uh, I looked at this and I thought oh maybe all I really need to do is bend those pins over. Um, I took one side of the pins and bent them over at 90 degrees. Those go, that end goes into the circuit board and then these stick out sideways. Um, I haven't done it here on this one but I took the back side where all the surface mount connections were and I just took my needle nose pliers and I bent them together and then I went along and soldered them to make a good connection. And that in the end gives me a nice header that sticks out sideways that I can put my uh, plug in. I've marked the plug so that I know that the arrow here is going to go in on this side of the board and I have a label on one side not on the other so that'll go straight up like that. This plugs in here just fine. The other side of this goes over to the Arduino. My power cord goes in there and my um, LCD display plugs in right on top of that. I can get my pins to line up, it does. Then the whole thing fits on the back of this board. Right here you'll see the uh, potentiometer that we talked about earlier. It's mounted on the board and I've run uh, leads, uh, wires, so that uh, each of these pins here connects to pins on my um, 90 degree header over there. That puts the whole thing together into one nice neat tight package and it's something that uh, you can do too. So it looks like everything is coming together really good on this project and things are just going great but that's not entirely true. You remember this rat's nest that we had over here on the, on the, on the breadboard. Um, when that, we had that hooked up everything worked fine. When I got rid of the rat's nest replaced it with this nice neat system with a little board that I created here it did not work. I went through the board carefully over and over again. I double checked um, my wiring. Uh, everything seemed to be okay. Um, the LCD display would light up but it would not print any characters on the screen at all. It really had me baffled. So I took a voltometer and started carefully searching through my board here. And what I discovered to my amazement is that in here pins 6 and 7 of my header are shorted together. I've searched the board both sides. I cannot see a solder bridge anywhere. So we either have a problem internally in the header itself where they're shorted together or there was a splash of solder or something that's directly underneath the header that I can't see and that I can't get at. Trying to remove this header with all the solder connections that we have on here would be a nightmare. And um, it's not something I would look forward to, to, uh, to do. In fact, I would rather just start all over with another board before I mess with that. But I was in a little bit of a luck. It turns out that pin 7 on the LCD display has no connection to it. So I simply went to my board and as you can see here I removed pin 7.
That solved the problem. Well, I hope you have better luck than I did on that part of the project. I also hope that you've enjoyed um, these, uh, this video and you'll give some of these things a try yourself. We'll see you later. 73s. This is WB7FHC.